All right. Okay, folks, joined here by in-house chef Michael Higgins. Now, Michael, we pulled a couple from today's flock for for purposes of cooking and, and sharing with the audience a little bit of, of how we do some of this, because we've yeah. been on a mission to teach people <laughs> how to cook wild game. Absolutely, and especially geese, because I don't know about you, I know when I was growing up, geese, even today, had a horrible reputation. Jerky. Yeah, jerky, if it was lucky. That was jerky. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. people you hear the type of, it's an old rubber tire, it can't be eaten, it's too tough, it tastes gross, and we've shown in the past on our YouTube channel, we have all kinds of different cooking videos from moose and bear, and we have lots of geese recipes. And Recent we actually, goose quesadillas just Exactly, out, yeah. and, goose, and goose legs. And that's like, out of all of the parts of the goose, that's the worst reputation is the legs. It's so tough, you can't eat it, but right. we showed pull apart. So yeah, I just figured today, why don't we show an easy way of doing breasts the proper way, because it's the most popular cut off a goose, but so many people do it wrong and they end up right. serving it to people and they get a bad idea of what well, it tastes like. Wild game comes with a bad rap, probably because it was cooked poorly yes. and served poorly Absolutely. or prepared poorly. Yeah. If you can eliminate those things, and like I said, we're on a mission to help educate because people need mm -hmm. ideas. We're at hunt camp right now with limited resources, but we That's have right. a little girl that we can pull this off. But this is a delicacy at home with all the cooking you've done. So yeah. breast used to have to be wrapped in bacon and done this and the, not, yeah. not true. Not true, all. absolutely so, not. Simple steps, we're gonna breast these with skin on, and then yeah. Michael's gonna walk us through a little bit of plucking and how to cook these. And I promise you folks, this stuff's worth learning about and experiencing. Absolutely. When it comes to plucking waterfowl, a pair of thin rubber gloves will help you grip the feathers better. Working with your thumb and the knuckle of your index finger, grab a small amount of feathers and pull them out. Working against the feathers while higher up on the breast and working with the feathers as you get about halfway down. Grab a thin knife and make a slice against the breastbone, then repeat on the other side. Following the bone, slice down on the back end of the breast just in front of the leg. Working from the top, carefully peel and slice the breast off the bone. After cleaning up any remaining feathers, slice off any silver skin from the meat side. Then score the skin in a hatchet pattern, trying not to cut into the meat. This will help the fat under the skin to properly render out during the cook. Season both sides with your favorite steak spice and add some oil to a cold flat top or pan. Add your breast skin side down and then turn the burners onto medium high. As the cooking surface warms up, the fat will start to render out. Once almost all the fat is rendered out and the skin has some nice coloring, flip the breast and continue cooking. Constantly baste the breast with the rendered fat as you cook, flipping the breast every couple minutes to baste both sides until you reach medium rare, about 130 degrees. This should take about seven to 10 minutes depending on the size of the breast. That smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, she's cooked, it's rested for 10 minutes, so all the juices should be in here, so it's the moment of truth. Slice into this bad boy here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Still juicy. I don't know, maybe a little slice, a little taste test before we, we bring gotta, it inside. We gotta try it before we share it. Piece for you. All right. Piece for me. Amazing. I'm so good. All right, I guess we have to share. I guess. Let's go. <laughs> Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. For more great videos and content, please subscribe to our page and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. And to follow our amazing adventures around Canada, please join us on Facebook and Instagram.